and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some rotation proof Azorius skies to finish out our rotation proof Monday. Uh, has it been the best Monday for us so far with wins? But that can kind of happen with these rotation proof decks. You know, like we are playing only cards that are going to be sticking around through rotation whenever um, Throne of Eldraine releases on Arena. We're going to be losing half of Standard. We're only going to be keeping the last four sets, Guilds of Ravnica, on. And so uh, we're just playing with decks from those four sets. We're doing this one day a week here until rotation. We're doing this on Mondays. And the reason why we're doing this is because there's a lot of players that want to build standard decks but are really scared of investing in cards that will be rotating out and had a lot of uh, people ask for rotation proof decks. And so this is what we're, we're doing and, and have had some good feedback about them too. They, we don't necessarily get the most wins with them though because we are missing critical cards in different decks that, that can cost us games. But um, they're still they're fun to play. They're good good cards and the good uh, foresight of what is what uh, standard could look like um, going into next set. Um, so what we're doing here, we're playing the Azorius Skies deck that we uh, played around five days ago or so, with some changes for rotation in mind. Instead of Siren Storm Tamer for the one drop, we got Terramander instead. Terramander, for the most part, is just you know going to be our one mana one one flyer. But you know, you know, like there can be games that we just flood out uh, where we will be able to adapt it. But that those games are probably going to be few and far between. And then our two drop slot, we don't get uh, the the Spirit Lord, uh, the one three that pumps all of our spirits. And so instead, we got a Tamik. I'm I'm worried about like casting Tamik. Really, the double white I think is kind of rough. That's why I just I'm just playing one. And also, of course, we don't really want two Tamiks because they're legendary. So we just have one Tamik, and then I'm playing some Night Veil sprites to give us some surveil and help us find Rally of Wings. But yeah, we're just an aggressive deck. We're just trying to get a whole bunch of these little flyers down right away and then use Rally of Wings and Imperion Eagle to pump out some wins. Um, Safara, also a great card to be able to play um, with all of these flyers that we can just get Safara in play and then just have this ridiculously big powerful angel in play as well so pretty neat little deck here um somebody in chat was saying that they they could see this deck getting a lot better uh after after throne of eldraine of like a bunch of little fairies being printed in eldraine and i could see that too that could happen we'll have to see all right so we're gonna play tr our traditional constructed league here No, like Dovin costing three mana. I want I want the other two three drops over Dovin, basically, and I do not want more than eight three drops. And so yeah, Dovin could be a sideboard card that could give us multiple threats against um that could give us multiple threats against uh control, but I really like Gideon against control more. And so that's what we got Gideon there. We have we have the gain the gain one life dual lands. We got four of those in here. Alright, we are gonna be mulliganing. This is a very slow hand. None of our twenty one drops. Okay. This looks a little better. <clears throat> Do I get rid of a Terramander or a Night Veil Sprite? Maybe a Terramander. So we go turn one Terramander, turn two, Healer's Hawk plus Miscreant. Or, you know, we could just go Night Veil Sprite. Yeah, let's go with this. Tamik stops uh, Nissa. Yes, I don't think Tamik does anything against Scape Shift. But Tamik stops Nissa from targeting your lands. I'm leaning with Terramander instead of Fairy Miscreant because it's it's nice if you play a Miscreant, you want to be able to draw a card. Like so, if they're gonna have removal, I'd rather them kill like this Terramander right away. All right, withdrawing the Imperion Eagle, I want to just go wide withdrawing this Eagle. So we're going double one drop. I if we didn't draw Eagle, I probably would have gone Sprite to look for stuff. 
Ooh, Rally of Wings is really nice. Could definitely get Kaya's Wrath here. Sure hope not, because our opponent's very dead next turn. So please, no sweeper. Yeah. This isn't really a Curious Obsession deck, because Curious Obsession... Darn it, no, sweeper. Well, A, of course, it's rotating, obviously. But then B, Curious Obsession is the kind of card that you want to play on, like, one threat, and you want to protect that one threat and interact and everything and have that one threat keep hitting your opponent. This is a go-wide deck um, where we don't really have interact, we don't really have protection uh, for our threat, and so... Um, Curious Obsession is hard to keep going. I mean, heck, I already have five lands. Wow. True friends always stand by your side. All right, looks looks like we're pretty dead. That Kaya's wrath got me. We would have had our opponent dead the very next turn. We would have had a turn four kill. <laughs> yeah, this is how today's going for us. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, Wavathar. You are very welcome. Okay, so we want Gideons. They're basically black-white control. And let's get a bunch of vetoes to counter stuff. Okay, so if we're going to bring in these, let's cut maybe two rallies. Still have two, but, you know, if they're killing our creatures, then Rally's not going to do a whole lot for us. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of some three drops. I'm going to be playing the Black Blades. Not sure if I really want these Hanged Executioners. And we'll get trim a Safara. No, let's, let's keep Safara. All right. Uh, two drops. To vegan sprite, who's what's leaving? Just that to vegan sprite. All right. I'm not going to take out any lands. We we are only playing twenty. We don't have very many. It just seems like we have a lot. <laughs> no. This no deputy is not a good card to be playing against the Kaya's Wrath deck. Do not want deputy detention for any reason. All right, well we're gonna get these flyers here and then have our Doan's veto starting on turn three. It'd be really nice to draw another one drop here to be able to double spell before keeping Vito up. And that's another one drop. That was a good draw. We have uh, tier one Tuesdays is the Tuesday thing, but that's not every Tuesday because otherwise I'd be playing the same decks for, you know, like a, a month. Or two. But. I like where your head's at there. Um, saying we could have Tuesdays, Tuesday. Where. People vote on what decks they want to see played.
I'm not sure how I could do that. I could do it like, like people on the like send the link to people on the like through the Discord, and everybody on the Discord could vote on what decks they want to see and put up a bunch of decks. I suppose, because I, I, I need I would need to know like the results of course before the stream. I need to like make sure to like help put together or like have like the decks put together exactly how I want, and then, uh, and then of course the thumbnails and stuff. Hey, Chronic Slayer. It's going very good. Our rotation proof day has been a little rough here today, but that's all right. Correct. I'm I'm holding up the possibility of countering Akaya's Wrath. Remember, so game one, we played Imperion Eagle, then our opponent just played Kaya's Wrath, and we died immediately. And so that's why I'm not playing Imperion Eagle, so that we don't just, we just play it, then they wrath the board and then we lose this is lethal though now we're good Yeah, I didn't really have room for Heartfire uh, in that deck, Arfi. Um, Heartfire is pretty decent, but it's not. It's you know it's a decent removal, so it's not uh, reliable. You know you do have to have your creature to sacrifice, so like you do need to draw one of your creatures that you want to sacrifice along with the Heartfire. So it's not like it's just automatically turned on. Kind of thing. Yeah, I could do like voting on Mondays for for the Tuesday. I could have like the voting on the Monday stream for Tuesday. That's definitely could do that. Um, I don't really have. <clears throat> I don't really have the you know the vote like all that started for for uh, tomorrow stream of course, but uh, maybe maybe next week. They have planes, planes, planes. No trains, no automobiles. Just only planes. I don't really know what that attack's about. I think that was a mistake attack. Called the bluff. All right, we got a win. There we go. Pick up some wins. Get some XP. Yep, you can have four of the same Mythic Rare in your deck. Yep, you can have up to four of any one singular card in your deck. Yeah, that looked like a, sh a shame scoop. Oh, yeah, hopefully no ju jury duty. Mulligan. Mulligan. Uh. 
<laughs> Do we just go to four? How is this supposed to win? So like, all right, so I keep this, I ditch Tomique and, um, <sighs> to make eagle I may not put up much of a fight this game to like hide what I'm actually doing to be honest Okay, okay. It's a card. We're gonna start with the sprites. So we can do the surveil. We need another one mana creature, preferably blue. All right, now we can have a one or two mana creature. We just need a creature. Ugh, three mana creature. All right, it means I'm not really playing Safara. But that is a pretty good three mana creature. I think that's better than a random card, that's for sure. Yeah, I d don't have gods... Like, uh, Siren Storm Tamer is a card that, you know, would be available for this deck instead of, like, Terramander, where S Siren Storm Tamer does a really good job protecting Safara. also. Like, when you, you play Safara, you can save with Storm Tamer. But yeah, without that, we can have our Safara um, die for sure. I don't... I don't know if I really want God's Willing, though. I don't know if that's a deck that I, or the, a card, sorry, a card that I really want to board in in any specific matchup. Well, I'm glad we drew the Eagle and didn't draw that Plains. Um, I like the Unbanning of Ferocidon. I think that's a, a good card to have for this for this format, even if it's just going to be a few weeks, it's you know, it's easy to say, well, what's the point? It's only just going to be for a few weeks. How Why are we unbanning this card? But no one said, I think that's better I've than just not worse. having it. I think it's better than just not unbanning something because it's not for very long. Whoa. A 6-7. That's big. All right, well, I, I do value getting Vivian out of here, so we're just going to attack instead of playing Safara. Perfect. Best possible card to see. I'll be back, just like before. So good job, Night Veil Sprite. All right, well, this is looking really good for us. I'm excited to play Ferocidon in just a, a wide variety of decks, not just like mono red, but you know, just like like gruel decks and and everything. Like, um, that will be a fun card to play as a good tool against Scape Shift and vampires. Just a just a just a regularly good card. I don't think it's too strong for the format or anything. You'll certainly see a lot more mono red in those. A uh, couple of weeks though, so decks. Whenever you build them, you will have to have mono red more in mind, more anti aggro cards. Not only in your, not only in your sideboard, but in your main deck as well.
the for arena the un the unban takes effect september 4th so mono green deputy of detention is the only card in the sideboard that considering uh, the other four don't do anything um, is devout decree what we really want hey what's up chris yeah that was a that's true we did get that mold of five good thing we didn't just i didn't just quit and go to the next game good thing we played it out got that win all right brings our sub goal to eight out of ten for today I'm just gonna play it as is. Like our deck. <laughs> like our chances. Now this is a hand. I'll start with this thing. So we'll have turn three Safara. Yeah, Rankler. It's been a lot of quick games here today. Keeping the one lander. Doing this, like, so in case we. This doesn't really matter. I'm going to be probably shocking in the next turn anyway. Oh, the weekend was, was very good. Um, yeah, I had a. Just had had a real good time uh, of R and R and everything, and I feel like I feel real rusty today. You know, these haven't had like the most wins or anything. I haven't played particularly clean either. But, but yeah, it was good to have a couple of days off there. Yeah, blind judge. Um, I think Stoneforge Mystic is is a pretty good unban in modern. I don't think that modern, I don't think it's too powerful for modern or anything. Um, I'm a little surprised they did it right now with all the unbans that they did. Or sorry, with all the bans that they did. Sorry. Because, all right, so like when you think about a, a format like modern, you only have so many cards that are like realistic to unban to shake up the metagame. Huh. We didn't even get to play our Safara. They already couldn't handle just the one ones. And so your timing on when you unban stuff is really important. You really want to wait for a stale metagame or like a, a format that people don't really like very much before you unban a like when you unban a card, basically. Because you want you want it to be like a, a format that people don't really like or just is kind of stale, you're not really seeing like growth in the format as much and then you want to shake things up and so you want to a card like that's so that's why even though i think stoneforge mystic has been perfectly fine power level for a long time in modern there wasn't really the reasons to unban it at previous times um but right now when they're banning a card like faithless looting that's going to shake things up a whole lot you know there's so many decks that are relying on faithless looting and so already you're going to have by just getting rid of faithless looting you're going to have a fresh format that that's going to change drastically and so 
I kind of feel like it would be good just to to let that happen and see what happens with the fresh format and everything. And and you know you could you could get more um, equity out of banning or unbanning. Sorry, unbanning Stoneforge Mystic at a different time. So you can you can kind of think of like the all the cards on the ban list are kind of like a currency to wizards, where there it's a very or, or a resource you can think of it's it's a very finite resource because you know there's only like I don't know like thirty five ish cards or whatever on the modern ban list right now, and most of most all of those are cards that you're just not that you're not unbanning at all you know like. Uh, mental misstep or whatever you know, like so there's a lot of cards that you're just not even willing to touch so like the actual number of cards that they're willing to unban is 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 very low and so you want to use a resource like that if you're from wizard's perspective at a time when the when it's a stale meta game that needs to be sh shaken up it's the easiest and best way to get people excited about a format Well, our, our one toughness dot deck can be kind of rough if our opponent starts whirling some chains. I basically just need to try to keep my creatures alive for this sky blade. If they whirl chains, I die. If they don't, I have a chance. I need to draw any one mana creature this next turn. I need, to, I need these to all stay alive, draw one mana creature, and then play Safara Sky's Blade. Yeah. We drew the one mana creature. But that Pegasus didn't stay alive. So we can try it again. Again, if we top deck one mana creature, we can go one mana creature, Skyblade. I can't, like, keep the Pegasus in hand because I can't really just go um, double Pegasus, Skyblade. You know, we just don't have that much mana. We only have the, the two mana. Those are two good cards for us to see. Steamkin doesn't kill my stuff. So that's fine. All right, too many chains being whirled around here. Protection from red, protection from red, protection from red. Exile red, exile red. Not a good card against Chain Whirler, but to be honest, most all of our deck, not a good card against Chain Whirler. All of these creatures die, <laughs> all of them. Uh, I think I should play Gideon. Gideon just gets attacked, right? I think Gideon's just getting attacked. I did, Sothian. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, good point, Storm. I I did say that this deck was rotation proof, and those chains are rotating very fast. And my deck cannot cannot be saved by the rotation of those chains.
that's a yeah rampaging ferocidon is a main deck card and all the decks can play it yeah it's it's a very good card um it could also see a little bit of cyborg play but for the most part it's it's going to be main deck and everything you know, like your uh, the obvious places of course are mono red and uh, John Dinosaurs, but then even just like like Gruel Midrange, it's it's a card that that Gruel Midrange love to have. At least our we've gained three life from our tap lands, so that's kind of cool. All we need to do is draw three more lands. <laughs> do you think we can get to the 20 land or our 20 land deck do you think we can draw seven sure I guess my plan is just hit hit a bunch of land drops I don't really see any other way like these Skyblades that we're actually playing Skyblades. And I, I don't really see a way that we're winning this game without playing Skyblades, so. So yeah, it's... Not likely, but possible. Do we need two more? Two more lands. Thing is so big. It has lifelink. Our opponent could just play rampaging ferocidon though. No, shut us down. Hmm. That first affair Safaro was pretty good. Drawing the second one, not so good. Drawing the third one means we're dead. But they didn't have time to draw the seven lands. Experimental Frenzy kills you really fast. All right, two and one. Need to mulligan to, I guess. Didn't have like Sir Eulen Drake or didn't have a very good hand. Guess I should have mulliganed. Yeah, it's, that can happen with playing four Safaras. Um, I know the last time I played it, we played four, and, and I liked them quite a bit. But that was very obvious. That was obviously uh, pretty awkward, just having uncastables. Hi, Yud. Welcome back. Yeah, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Yeah, I don't think anybody's missing that. The mulligan, mold down to two, mold, mold to three, mold to two, try to find a ley line of the void. Why would the Vicious Conquistador not attack? Conclave Tribunal? I don't know. Venerate Luxodon? Why is that not attacking? I can't figure it out. If you want the song, 
ex exclamation point song. If you want uh, the playlist that I use, the song should come up in a little bit. There's the there's the playlist. Looking good. Yeah, looking for Safara. Blood was my beginning, and it will be your end. Welcome to the family. Yeah, that, that seems like a very reasonable thing to do. That's that's certainly reasonable. What's up, Petite? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Sub number nine on the day. One away from our sub goal. All right, this is going to be tough. So we got the Devout Decrees. We kind of just have to have, like, a whole lot better hand than what we have had. There's not, like, a ton for sideboarding here. I guess Deputy slows him a lot, slows him down a lot faster than Executioner. Oh, right, Chandra Tribal. I I forgot about that. I was gonna be I was gonna make a Chandra Tribal rotation proof deck, see Wookies. I forgot about that. Alright, we'll have to do that for next next week. I even had it written down here on, on my paper for like you know, potential decks. I just forgot to check this paper. You can come on dude, you can post you can post the link, you're good. Links are allowed. Again, I don't know if we're winning on four, so let's try this. Maybe we could, maybe we get lucky. We get this Safara and play, and the Safara takes over. No, I I this is a matchup where I want Safara against like another aggro deck. That was a great draw, that land. Obviously, they can have removal to kill it. Um, I definitely hope not, though.
would have been nice to draw a one mana creature where we could attack the Soren for one also and play Safara. Alright, good sign. Good sign. All right, no removal. My bloodline flows through you. Hollow to care. No, that was not a good draw. That was really not a good draw. Now I now my just blocks are awful. So I can't not attack with Safara because then Sanctum Seeker kills me. That Legion Lieutenant really hurt. Can I, can I kill these? No, I can't do that. I can't double block. Darn it. Ugh. Well, we just have to do the only blocks we can do to stay alive then. Oh yeah, lifelink. Right, because, yeah, so we go to one. Yeah, so we go to one. All right, that definitely helps. Get the aspirant and the lieutenants out of here. Okay, good draw. Good, no, still no removal. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Loyal Pegasus, you are really annoying to block with. Block, everybody block. Get your blocks in.
So this forces them to activate Knight of the Ebon Legion to keep Knight alive, which means they don't get to make a token with a Danto Vanguard, or a Danto the First Fort. Yeah, it looks like the blocking is a little bugged there. Hey, Duriel. The Eagle! The Eagle has landed. So this is 24. If I just attack with everybody. Okay. And that's why Safara is good. Safara just stole that game. Stole it. We had no business winning that. But we got there. All right, game three. Can we beat the best deck in the format with our rotation proof flyers? There's a bunch of little one mana one ones. This hand could get there again if we draw a land or two. I wouldn't keep this at all in the play, but we are on the draw. Death Star. Thank you so much for that sub there. Getting our sub goal for the day. One lander, thumbs up. Greedy, I love it. Keep. All right, nobody said mulligan in chat. Yeah, my mulligans have been going very poor for me today. That is for sure. And we've done a good job drawing lands. All right, not the best, not the best land. Yeah, if it was not a dual color, we would not be keeping. That's that is true. Nah. Do we, do we think they have no removal again? No removal! Come on, two times no removal. They had no removal the first time. That's not removal. You're at a Sanctum Seeker. I don't like no. Sanctum Seeker. Ooh, backup Safara. In case they do remove it. I'll take a backup Safara right now. They could have like Nox you know, like this is Cyborg Games, they could like, you know, bring in Noxious Grasp.
And then, yeah, Mortify, Noxious Grasp. Yeah, I don't think my opponent's playing Cry of the Carnarium, because that would get rid of all their creatures, too. Safara, Sky's Blade, getting it done. Three and one. Turn three, Safara, that hand had. We hit our land drops. Right, wasn't it turn three? Yeah, because we went one drop, then one drop with tap land. And then turn three, we went double one drop and Safara. Boom. All right, we're three and one. We're getting there. Okay, let me save these. Should we some Kydros? What else do we play? Rakdos Aristocrat. All right, I'm in there. We're in there. Like swimwear. Hanged Executioner is a good one. Gets us a couple flyers for one card. Leafkin Druid. Alright, Nightfell Sprite already paying off. Got rid of that island. No, not deputy. Don't deputize my token. Yeah, I think we keep the sailor on top. It's a good card to have in case of removal numbers with the sub there thanks to 619 Santa 619 no blocks I could play Sailor, then I get to attack with Sprite. I kind of like this, like, Surprise Sailor. I don't know what Surprise Sailor is really doing, but I kind of like it. Oh, no. What a horrible magic card for me to see. You show remorse. I'll show restraint. Oh, I, I didn't play the Sailor before. This might be a bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> Your favorite Planeswalker. Yeah. Storm Tamer would be kind of nice. But oh well. Yeah, so if I... Oh, it costs four mana to exile. Ooh. Draw another card. 
another one of those. I guess I should attack with this thing. Good call, good job, Night Vale's Bright. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. They probably don't have anything good left in hand, right? Just divination with a 2-2. Alright, so they got Jade Light Ranger. Okay, yeah, against Scape Shift with Unward Ego's name, Field of the Dead. Know, that's that's the thing to name first. Field of the Dead. And then Hydroid Krasis. And that's kind of about it that you really need to name. Well, if my opponent gets rid of Safara again, I'm dead. Anyway. So might as well just take nine. Um, and then, yeah, you basically get to look at their deck and see if they're like see what other win conditions they have. You don't really need to name. I, I've never named three mana to fairy against that deck. But yeah, Field of the Dead, the Hydro Crisis, and just see like if they have extra win conditions you need to take. Like maybe Agent of Treachery sometimes, or like maybe they have like a Shifted Ceratops you want to get rid of, or um, yeah, you know, Mass Manipulation, you know, just whatever else they have. Well, the reason why Siren Storm Tamer is not in the deck is because we are playing a rotation proof deck right now, and Siren Storm Tamer is rotating. So that's why there's no Siren Storm Tamer in our deck. Hmm. So I guess deputy. So yeah, we're playing Terramander instead. But yeah, that would that would be Siren Storm Tamer instead of Terramander. Which that game we did not have Terramander, so we would not have just had Storm Tamer. But like that's the card you can think of as should be Storm Tamer. I don't think I want Dovin's Veto. Hmm. I don't think I want Dovin's Veto. I don't even know if I really want all these deputies, to be honest. Gosh, the far is so bad against Teferi. Alright, let's try this. Take out two Safaras for two deputies. Yeah, we don't have favorable wins, but Rally of Wings is pretty awesome, and so just having a bunch of Rally of wing Wings is nice. Good luck, Ross. Wow. Zero lands. Zero lands. I 
since he can't attack or block alone anyway. All right, eagles. <laughs> that is true. Playing magic in general is pretty terrible. Terrible against the fairy. That's true. Uh, I should have ditched their land. Obviously, there was a land on top. <laughs> Obviously, there are two lands on top. Yeah, Hawkeye, you're on top. Trust me, you'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. Three lands on top. They really did not want us to play magic this game. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Our seven card hand had zero lands. Our six card hand had zero lands. Our five card hand, they've just let us draw land, 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 land. Four lands in a row. We're only playing 20. We just had no chance in this game. We had no shot. Not get to play magic. Here we go. That card's cool. Whoa, a spell. What was that? Another spell. I didn't know we still had spells in this deck. Stop that now. Who put spells in this deck? Where'd those come from? I thought it was only lands. With all these lands, Todd will be able to, at this rate, Todd will be able to plant and the harvest wheat three harvest. times a year. <laughs> That's true. We could just hard cast Safara. That's true. Our 20 land deck after we mold a five, we're just hitting our seventh land drop like it's nothing. When your life's so good, That's you could crace like us for another five and just don't even care to. isn't a fight you can win. Well, that's a bummer. Now Bouncing Eagle kills the Sailor. Hey, eighth land. Well, that was ugly.
That was ugly. Those are some good uncommons. Doesn't really matter. Oh, we got a pack. Crack our pack. 40 gems. Cool, we got a mythic. But I already have all the mythics, so we got 40 gems. Cool. All right, so that's Azorius Skies. When thinking about this deck after rotation, I would have to say the sky's the limit. Okay, that really didn't mean that. I just <laughs> heard the word sky's there. Um, but yeah, maybe more like Azorius lands. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, still pretty good, you know, nothing wrong with the 3-2, we, we did defeat vampires and everything, and, like, that's, honestly, that's a real good record for a rotation-proof deck, getting to three wins, um, if there are better one mana and two mana, basically, better one and two mana flyers in Throne of Eldraine, this is definitely a deck that could, um, take off. That you like, we have some real weak cards in our deck. Like Night Veil vale Sprite, isn't so great. Terramander, when you can't adapt. Loyal Pegasus, some cards that aren't very strong, but um, you're still, you know, being, you know, having a very respectable deck, respectable deck here. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see if there's any other um, favorable wins type effects or or some other good cards there. But Rally of Wings, Imperion Eagle are both really strong cards um, and you know reward you for playing a lot of uh, a lot of flyers and going wide both of them do and so that's what we have the 21 drops and of course Safara rewards you for playing a lot of flyers as well we saw Safara's weakness against little Teferi but then we saw Safara's strength stealing us the match against vampires that we would not have had a chance at winning otherwise but I I uh, I kind of see this deck being a player after rotation because after rotation, just the metagame in general is going to be weaker when you go down to only having five sets instead of eight sets. It's going to be a little bit of a weaker metagame. Like, that's just how that works. And uh, this deck isn't really losing very much. As you saw, like, this, all these, like, this is certainly playable still. This could be a, a pretty good aggro deck. Um, and all it needs, like, the cards that it needs are just like, kind of like any playable one mana flyer and any playable two mana flyer you know it's not like it needs like anything special um a good a good dual land you know like whatever the throne of the eldraine dual lands like a good dual land will will help as well um whatever th those are going to be you know that's that's still to be seen um but there we go that's that's azorius guys so pretty nice little deck here so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Leave a comment as well. I appreciate all that kind of stuff. And also make sure you check out the playlist there for all the other rotation proof decks. Uh, we've had some more wins with some of the other ones than today. Um, but you know, yeah, this, this is a pretty fun deck. I'll say that too. It's a pretty fun deck here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching Azorius guys. And I'll see you for the next video. Say bye, Hawkeye. Say bye, Hawkeye. Say bye. <laughs> All right. Good night.